Well, here's um, the very strange looking Tully monster. And uh, you can see from the drawing, it's got little teeth here. Great, okay, fine. We can sort of understand that that's to scoop stuff up. And then the body is very much like, sort of looks like a squid, right? But as far as the scientists know, it doesn't have anything to do with a squid. And it has a series of sort of slight um, lines, you know, like it's slightly thicker, you know, it's got these slightly thicker lines, right? I think there's actually 13, but right now I'm just drawing them however. And 13 until you get to the tail. And then what's really weird is that it has these little handlebars. The other one would probably not be entirely visible. And supposedly these are eyes, but what are they doing out on handlebars? And then the other thing is that there's no known mouth. Sorry, this might be another line here. Um, on the underside here of the mouth part, there's a little sort of little smile thing, and here are the handlebars, because they're actually attached to sort of the lower part, right? Which would make sense if it's going along near the bottom, the eyes want to look down. And then there's like this little smile thing, and as far as they can tell, inside the proboscis, there's no tube. So it doesn't, this is not the mouth. This is just to grab things, and then presumably brings the things to the mouth, right? It's got a little shrimp or something, like in the drawing, it's hunting some shrimp, takes it to the mouth. Well, that's fine, except that a lot of the fossils don't have this little smiley thing. Now, maybe it's just that the mouth was really small and delicate and doesn't show up on many of the fossils. Because the problem is that these fossils are found inside these concretions, they're called, these little rocks, right? And so you find your fossil here, but it's just a print, basically, of the outside. So it doesn't tell you what was inside the fossil. So anyway, that is your mysterious Tully monster. It lived in the Carboniferous period in what's now Illinois. In fact, it's a state fossil of Illinois, which is pretty cool. And um, uh, and I had not it was not able to include it in When Bugs Were Big, but since now the three books are going to be coming out as one book, I was able to add it, and that's what the scene is from. It's from the three in one of my three books, with which has some added new material. Okay, hope you enjoy the book when it comes out.